Hi guys. Well, I'm trying to get through here a little bit. This is uh, some ugly wood, chunks and hunks. It's it's all sorts of garbage. The chunks and hunks I'm going to throw in this bucket. Um, stuff that looks like it'll stack, I'll put in this basket over here. Heard a funny. I touched that and heard a funny noise. It was a jet. You know. Anyway, welcome to Frickin' Jeep. This is not going to be the fastest wood splitter on YouTube because, like I said, I'm. I don't know what I'm doing with it. It's it just ugly wood, just ignorant wood. Anyhow, but I need the bucket back. I'm on, like I said, on a short just now I did. I'm gonna get another bucket. It's late in the day, it's five o'clock, but I'm trying to get that ethanol gas out of that wood splitter and it's got no spunk to it at all. I might get one piece split. I try to run it out at the end of the year. I might get one piece split and um, it runs out of gas, which wouldn't make me happy for making a video. I'd like to get at least five minutes worth of splitting before it runs out. I have to go up to Pennsylvania tomorrow and get some real gas or I, I don't know. It is muddy down here. Okay, but I'll tell you what, after being up at Brad's on Sunday, I can't call that mud, if you know what I mean. If you're over at Brad's, I'm trying to get this, this thing. I guess this is a pretty good spot for you. You can see me, um, I'll be pulling it off, splitting it, and putting it in either one of these baskets. So that's what I'm going to do. Any, or that's what I plan on doing. i got to get some eyeballs here. Um, ah. Just the way it is. Here I got some, got some mittens in here too, but I can't find the pair. This is some mittens that somebody left here by accident. The chunks and hunks will be for next year's boiler, so they, they'll be all right. All right, let's start up, guys. I guess you gotta turn the switch on, don't you? That's what happens when you get out of routine.
wouldn't take too long. Wouldn't have taken so long if I didn't have to circumcise so many of those logs, chunks. Uh-oh. Uh can't reach these. Now I got my bucket back. I might just, might just leave that as a chunks and hunks. I gotta change the profile on my hook I made. Leave this ain't quite right. got about a, a strong half a cord over there in the or half a totes that ain't half a cord um, I got a pile of chunks and hunks here you can kind of still see where it's going I had the uh, you can't tell I, I'm green at this I haven't done it so long I got the bucket to see it's at a it's at a downward angle that way normally I have it up like that it's just been so long since I did this well, we got a little bit of gas out of that beast, didn't we? And here's the um, pile. I guess we're at 22 minutes, so it took me about 20 minutes. Like I said, if I hadn't cut off all those nubbies on there, uh, it would have gone a lot faster. And this is this is ugly, ugly wood and separating the good stuff out of the bad stuff. I think that probably would have finished off the totes if you're only filling them up to the top, but I fill them up more than the top. If you're new here, welcome. Don't ask me why I don't get a four-way wedge because I don't like them. So that puts that to rest right there. It doesn't make a whole lot of trash. That's all the trash I got in that little bit of stuff. And that was trashy wood. Um, so I think, you know, if you sit there and watch people with four-way wedges, they get one and then they move it up and they move it down and then they move it this way and that way and they can't get the log just centered just right and maybe there's a log underneath of it that they can't lower it down to where they want to get the next log. That chews up too much time, guys. It really does. It chews up more time than you think. The same way uh, one gentleman asked me, how come you have the splitter handle where, it, where it's at? It's backwards. Well, yeah, it is backwards. But let me let me see if I can get you over here and kind of explain my handle my handle situation here seeing as a lot of you are new and I guess you can see the handle there okay if you have to reach up every time up here to get your wood get your wood thing you're going from here to there okay that's a half a second you know, by the time you got it up and down, that's a half a second. Okay, then you have to change your direction. So you're going this way, you got to change your direction, you got to grab the handle and you got to pull it. This is a straight push. That's all there is to it. I push it. That's all there is to it. When it's done, it pops out. Sometimes I got to push again. It's got a detent that comes this way that looks like it needs an adjustment. Okay, I don't want, I don't want a, right now I don't want a, automatic thing where you put your post them forward and it comes forward and you walk away and you go get your other piece I don't have that problem I don't have to walk anywhere for my next piece I don't have to come over to my log lift I don't have to turn around to do that I don't have to do nothing it is right there and it's ready so I don't need a log lift in this situation here at all if you have to have a log lift you want a log lift do it but you watch most of the people they're using a log lift as a table and then they got another log lift they got to go down and it takes time I can go over there and fill that bucket up with a third of a quart if I fill it up the way I, I like to fill it up okay and I can split and fill a totes and I can split it and stack it in 20 minutes you've seen me do it on YouTube if it's not real ignorant wood that you got to circumcise so anyhow so if you're gonna leave me a comment this that and the other thing maybe that puts some of that to rest so this old splitter was built back in about 1972, maybe I started working on it in 71, my first one, one split of wood. And there was no, there was no internet to go to for an answer for this and an answer for that. You just kind of wung it and it either worked or it didn't. My first wood splitter wouldn't split a pencil. This one here will split a pencil, but it's not very strong. I want fast. When you go out and get yourself a wood splitter, you want to get it to do 98% of your wood. 98% of my wood, this thing will split. 
but it goes fast because all my wood needs fast splitting. Okay, it doesn't get into a piece and then slow down. It's straight through. There's no, that's just the, the thing that we got. Anyhow, that's enough jabber. Sun's going down. Um, take you off the stand here. I can't, well, I'll take you off the stand this way. Now I'm on my selfie stick. We're up to 26. That's enough. This is going on tonight. I, and then the next one will be um, up there sawing some more of that wood that, that's in a past video. That was before before the Brad's Mud Fest. Boy, did we all have a good time. And I think somebody else mentioned, I didn't hear one person complain. I think it might have been Brad uh, complain about the mud. Because there was no mud. It was 80, 85 degrees and sunny up there. And I didn't even get any sun here. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I hope I've answered a few questions. I know I told a few people um, up there that, you know, I work off a table and they looked at me like I'm some kind of a nut. Well, they were right. I am some kind of a nut, but I don't think you're going to, you're not going to beat me. That's just flat out. Show me somebody out there on YouTube that can split, split a third of a cord and stack it in less than 20 minutes, one person, not two people, one person. Because I don't have help like a lot of people get happy help. Anyhow, I want to try to get to some of that wood that's up up top. I got to clean that mess up there. And if it stays a little dry here, I'm going to try to get into some of that. I don't, I think that's maple. I'm not sure. I like to finish this one toad off with maple. And uh, that's about it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, send this to a friend. And uh, put a comment down there if you like the Bunyan Show videos or if you were at the Bunyan, or Bunyan Show, Brad Show. If you like the Brad videos or if you like the, um, if you were at the Brad Show, uh, drop a line, say hi. We'll see you later now. Bye-bye. Got to figure out how to turn this off. Everybody.